Well, we've come inside this very impressive six and a half million pound development here of the new grandstand at Fontwell. And joining me now to explain the ins and outs of it is Phil Bell, general manager at Fontwell. You must be very proud of this. Very proud, Mick. It's, uh, it's a fantastic new facility. Fontwell's really needed this facility. Our bars, it's a lovely, charming race course, as everybody knows, but the bars and the, uh, the hospitality areas we did have here were quite small. You'd get in, in the bars, you know, a coach party of 50 might turn up, and the bar's full, no room for anyone else, and no seating. We, we had quite limited seating on site. So this new facility is 460 square metres on the ground floor, seating for about 200 people inside, new bars, new food outlets, new betting shop, new tote windows, plenty of toilets, everything you'd need really for a comfortable day at the races. Plenty of seating as well, because it's the one bane of mine that used to always be when I used to go racing, I'd go to the weighing room, I'd always have somewhere to sit. You come here, you're not that good on your legs, you like to be able to come in, sit down, like the facilities here, you've got a, you can have a drink, you can have a coffee, you can have food, but you can also have a seat and pick out your bets. Absolutely, seating was one of the you know, critical things in here, and we, as I say, we've got seating for a couple of hundred. We've also put some seats above the terracing out the front for, for 160 people, because we did get a number of races goes who weren't so good on their feet saying we've got to stand to watch the races live every time we come to Fontwell so now people can actually have a seat to watch the racing live it's 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 a vast improvement but what you'd expect for the investment we put in but now you when you buy your entrance ticket to Fontwell it this gets you in entrance into, into this facility yeah if you buy a premier enclosure ticket to Fontwell you get the use of the whole ground floor and, and all the new facilities and the seats overlooking uh, the track so it, it's an extra five at a race meeting, whatever the meeting is. And we think that represents really good value for the extra comfort you're getting and the extra space. Lots of, you know, we're hoping we've put a very long bar in here to reduce queues. We've got some big food outlets that, to try and stop people queuing. That's another bane of people's lives, going to a public event and having to queue for food and drink. So we're trying to limit that as much as we can. So we're very pleased with what we've, uh, what we've ended up with. Now listen, we're going to go down and see level two, which is the hospitality suites which is a totally different ball game. The even the entrance is impressive. The entrance is, is impressive, and I'll tell you something in there about the lights. Now, we've come down to the hospitality suites entrance, and it, it is a very impressive. It's almost like walking into a hotel. <laughs> That's what it's meant to be like, really. It's meant to be a, yeah, it is a very, very smart entrance, deliberately for hospitality, but also for non-racing events. This is where, if you have a conference or a wedding reception, you'll come in. If it's a conference, you'll come and check in at the desk here, and we will treat you like you are at a proper conference venue, because the payback for this grandstand, as well as the 23 race days we have here every year, is obviously all the non-racing days. We need to be busy you know, as many days of the year as we can, um, and it's been built and designed with conferences and wedding receptions and parties and small exhibitions in mind so I think we felt it was very very important that people had a smart entrance they felt they were in the uh, you know the appropriate environment for that type of event well, first impressions are everything aren't they but absolutely and I think um, going back to what we said earlier you know if, if all race courses could have a facility like this I think you know they could generate significant new levels of, of revenue because people who have conferences and wedding receptions are used to going to quality venues and uh, certainly some of the facilities we had here previously perhaps probably weren't quite up to the standards of other local venues but now we think we've probably got the best in the area okay. so we're, we're, we're pleased let's go and see we're going to put it to the test and have a look what we've got okay great well here we are phil nice smooth ride up and it's impressive it's so much glass Lots of glass, um, quality carpets, quality everything really, Mick. We've spent, uh, as, as we said earlier, six and a half million on this stand. We haven't really um, made any serious cutbacks. We wanted a quality finish. I think that's what we've achieved. Um, if we come through to the lounge, you'll see we've got a, a lounge here that can seat 350 people for lunch or for a party or, a, or a, 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 any other function, whatever function you care to name. We can do a lot of people. Previously, we could only do a um, hundred people inside in, a, in an area. We've got marquees that could do more numbers than that, but inside, this has dramatically increased our numbers. So, yeah, it, I mean, it's a lovely, spacious room. It can be partitioned behind the partition screen. Um, we've got a private booking here today, and the rest of the lounge is open plan. So we can divide the room into three sections. So it can be it can be 150 and a 70 and a 60, or take the partitions back, and it can be one room for 350. Or it, it's a multifunctional space, really, which is what you need. 
ideal for a party. Absolutely, yeah, you do. I mean, and also we never really know what types of size of, of hospitality booking we might get, so we can be flexible. We, uh, and our race meetings here vary so much. Um, because, say, Boxing Day we're racing here for the first time this year. We won't uh, have any private bookings in boxes because it's not a corporate day. So this lounge will be open plan for families to have lunch for 350. But on a midweek day, we'd hope to sell the two boxes that we can segregate for groups of 60, 70 people, and the rest of the lounge will be like a restaurant facility. So it works for every race meeting. Now listen, it's great, the fact that you can actually see the whole course, virtually the whole course, when you stand there and, and it's open that you can go out there and, and watch the racing. Absolutely. I mean, there's a, the balcony is there's a nice deep balcony, so even if this is full with 350, we can virtually get everybody out on the balcony to watch the racing live, although in reality that doesn't often happen because people will be, they'll be elsewhere in the stands or watching it on the screen. So yeah, the, the, the view is, is fantastic. You don't need a big screen, to be honest, from this floor. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, Everyone who's been here has raved about the view. They like the space. Uh, they like the quality finish. We spent, we spent a lot of money on the furniture, the, the, the chairs, and we'll go up to the next floor boxes in a minute. And we've spent some, you know, we've, we've, all the furniture has been is quality. So we haven't scrimped. We haven't saved. We've put something real, of real good quality together. Last. Now let's go and have a look at the plusher surroundings of the even upstairs. Okay. Now, Phil, we've come to the top level here with the private hosp hospitality boxes, and like this is an amazing view up here. We, um, when we first put this, the grandstand together and we came up on this floor for the first time, I mean, I stood here for half an hour just in awe of the view. It is spectacular. Fontwell's always been a very good viewing track, as, uh, as anyone who's been here knows, but now on this level, on floor two, you really you barely need binoculars, you certainly don't need the big screen. It is exceptional. Um, We've had one race meeting so far with the grandstand open and everyone who's used these boxes on this floor was raving about the view. Um, fantastic. There's 12 boxes on the top floor, um, all for 14 people to sit down for lunch or 20 for a buffet. And then those boxes will work well on non-racing days as breakout rooms if we have conferencing. So we're hoping again to make use of them outside of the 23 race days. Do people have them for the, for the season or the year or can you, can you hire them for a, a day? It's a mixture, Mick. Um, some of them have been sold, five have been sold on an annual let for the year. Um, previously to, to the stand being built, we didn't have any annual box holders here. So in the current climate, we're pleased to have found five companies who uh, were prepared to, to, to invest for a year, or some of them for actually a bit slightly longer. The remainder are all available on a daily basis. Yeah, then we've had, a, again, a great response, really, really good response. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be need pushing, of course, like any new business needs marketing and pushing and promoting. And we're doing lots of tours and open evenings and presentations at local... Can you just have the box, or can you have the box with food and drink, or whatever way you want to play it? Whatever you do, yeah, you have to have food and drink. You can't have box hire. I mean, we, what we would do if it was the day before a race meeting and there was a box spare and someone wanted a view, it would have to be a last-minute decision. But pre-booking in advance for, for hospitality, yeah, you'd need to have food and drink in the package. But it, the all-inclusive package for all food and all drink is only £130 a head which compares favourably with a lot of sporting venues around the country, certainly. You know, I, we all know what it might cost for a day at Wimbledon and a day at the, the rugby, three, four hundred pounds a head. And this is a fantastic race course with great, everything close by. The food and drink here is exceptionally good quality. The facility is fantastic. So, you know, we think we're very, very good value. Now, six and a half million it's cost to put this whole thing together. And from certainly from what I've seen, it looks to be money very well spent. Absolutely. I mean, it is a... It's a ch it's, uh, we've been asked, is it, um, you've been brave, people have said, you know, in the current climate, but you know, the stand's going to be here for 30 years. It's not... Uh, you uh, hope longer than 30 years. <laughs> but certainly see me out, Mick, won't it? But, I mean, it, in terms of the payback, you know, it, we're, we'll pay this back over, over as quick as time we can. Um, yeah, the response has been fantastic. It's, uh, it's an exceptionally good facility. If you, I go around racing all around the country, and this does compare very favourably with lots of the race courses in Britain, and certainly a lot of the, the other sporting facilities on the south coast. We are definitely one of the premium or the premier leisure facilities on the south coast now, with both on the ground floor for the punters only, and on the other floors for hospitality. We're we're in a great position to attract a lot of new business here. Well, listen, I've ridden a lot of winners at Fontwell. I loved coming here to ride because it is the only figure of eight track left for jump racing in Britain and I think this only enhances what already was a fantastic race course.
Yeah, well, we would agree. We, we know that, every, as I said earlier, Fontwell is a charming race course. Everyone who comes here, I've met hundreds of people over the years who've been racing here for the first time, and everyone loves the feel of the place because it is, as we say, it's a sort of quintessentially English race course. Everything's close by. Now we've got a facility that fits in so fantastically with that to look after the customers in, in, in comfort and uh, with great viewing. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're delighted.